Welcome to my Cisco's Writing and Switching Essentials Lab Review. In this lab, we're looking at Lab 92110, Configuring Standard ACLs. So, first thing I want to do is Part 1. I want to do some basic investigation. So, I want to go ahead and open up PC1. And I want to try to ping PC2. 168. 11.10, see if it works. Okay, so I can go from one network to another network on R1, that's okay. I want to then ping PC3, 30.10. So I can from the 10 network, I can ping both other networks. What about from the 11 network? I already know that 11 can communicate with 10, but can 11 communicate with 30? 30.10. So 11 can also communicate with 30. And we already know that 30 can communicate with both of them. So why is that? Well, there should be no ACLs between R1 and R3 to allow that traffic flow. Going on to step two, we're going to notice something. The following policies are implemented on R2. 11 cannot communicate to the web server on the 20 network. All other access is permitted. Also, to restrict access from the 11 network, to the web server without interfering with other traffic, an ACL must be generated on R2. The access list must be placed on the outbound interface to the web server. So, we're going to think about that for a little bit, and we're also going to be implementing another policy on R3. The 10 network is not allowed to communicate with the 30 network. All other access is permitted. So before we actually go into configuring it, let's think about this. With this right here, the 11 network not allowed to communicate with the web server. All other access is permitted. We could do an ACL that says, allow this network to that network for specifically, maybe port 80. Or if we want to just disallow this entire network talking to this computer completely, we could do that too. Because this is the important part right here, without interfering other traffic. So we could do an ACL, allow this network to talk to this computer here, port 80, port 443 probably, and deny everything else. Or actually all other access is allowed, so we would deny this and allow everything else. So that's reasonable. So how we can do that is let's hop over to R2, get logged in. All right, so we're going to do an access list. We're going to call it one. First thing we want to do is deny. 192.168.11.0 wildcard mask so that will deny anything from the 11 network next thing we have to do access list 1 permits any so that will allow us to not allow traffic from that network and permit all other traffic. The next thing it wants us to do is actually program it on this interface right here. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's interface gig00 IP access group 1 because our access list is one, so we're applying it, and we're gonna apply it on the outbound. 
So that's actually all we had to do. In some of our later videos, we're going to be talking about an extended ACL, which we're going to do this same similar type of lab, but a little bit better. So moving on from there, let's hop over to R3. Get to our privilege mode, get to our global configuration mode. Let's go ahead, because the ACLs are unique per device, we can actually do access list one again. We're going to deny anything from the 192.168 network, 10.0, with the appropriate wildcard mask. We also want to allow everything else, so access list one, permit any. And again, we're going to apply this to the gigabit interface going out to this network here. So int gigabit IP access group one, and we want to apply it on the out. And that's it. That's we're, we're done. Last thing we have to do is verify. So it first wants us to do a show access list on R2. Show access list. We have access list one, first part, second part, and that's correct. Let's hop over to R or yeah, R3. Show access list. Again, access list one. Those are our two parts. That's right. So now let's go back and let's try to do our pings again. Let's try to ping 192.168.30.10 from PC1. So this is coming from the 10 network going to the 30 network, which is not allowed. So let's try pinging to the web server, 192.168.20.254. It should do an ARP request to the first one times out, but we can communicate with it. What about from PC2? Ping. 192.168.20.254. This is coming from the 11 network and should be not allowed because, again, we denied it with this ACL and we applied it to that interface. The first ping that we did was coming from the 10 network to the 30 network and we applied it there, so it won't work. Okay, that's this lab in a nutshell. Thank you.